Red Sox hosting the Orioles, and the Orioles are minus 118 on the money line. The Red Sox are plus 100. The over-under is at 10 runs. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 128, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two runs. And the Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose this game by one run. You'd win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord. If you have not, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Go to the Memberships tab, and you'll see the one that has my best bets and things like that. The Discord is a paid membership. Now, Bradish did pitch once against the Red Sox this year. Two and a third, seven runs, seven earned. They lost that game eight to six. He struck out one batter. Now, in his last five starts, they're five and oh. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 6.8 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 1.2. The over has hit in his last three starts and the over is three and two in his last five. He's lost his last, or the Orioles have lost his last three against the Red Sox, losing 8 6, 13 9, and 1 0. The over is hit in the last two. He averages three and two thirds innings pitched, 4.7 strikeouts, five earned runs, 2.3 strikeouts, 3.3 walks. Uh, 0.7 home runs. He gave up a home run in two out of the three games and 86.3 pitches in those games. So he does not fare very well against the Red Sox. For the Red Sox, Hauk or Hook um, pitched twice against the Orioles this year. Five innings, four runs, three earned. They lost that game six to two in Baltimore. He struck out two. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game nine to five and he struck out five. They are two and three as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and 3.8 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 2.2. The over has hit in his last four starts and the over is four and one in his last five. He's one and two or the Red Sox are one and two in his last three against the Orioles. So both of these pitchers kind of struggle. Uh, the under is two and one in those games. Five innings pitched, six hits. 3.3 runs, 2.7 earned runs, five strikeouts he averages, 1.3 walks, 0.7 home runs, he gave up two home runs in one game, and 80 pitches. So essentially these pitchers both don't uh, bring their A game against the opposing team. Now, the home team is 7-3. and three. The Red Sox are 6-4 and four against the Orioles in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last four. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the over 10 is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. Now, the wind is blowing out towards the green monster at 10.3 miles an hour. It'll taper off to like 8 or 9 miles an hour later on in the game. But now we're getting two guys who kind of struggle against the opposing team. The last series that they played was a three-game set in Baltimore. The Orioles took two out of th uh, three, winning 6-2, then losing 8-6 and winning 5-4. The Orioles are 7-3 and three in their last 10. They are on a five-game winning streak, and the over is 6-2-2 two two in their last 10. Beating the D-backs 8-5 and then sweeping the Angels 6-3, 5-4, and 10-3. For the Red Sox... They are on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two and two in their last four, 3-7 and seven in their last 10, and the over is 7-2-1. and one. Beating the Royals 7-3, beating the Rays 7-3, and then losing 8-6 and 3-1 to the Rays. Seemingly, Bradish struggles a lot worse than Hauk does against the Red Sox, and I'm going to go with the home underdog in this one. I'm going to take the Red Sox with the money line. I'm going to take the Red Sox getting the runs, and I'm going over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.